how to sell assets on Behance. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how to get started with Behance and how to sell assets on Behance. This could be fonts, this could be images and other things as well that you can add and start selling. You can even have them for free. You can have them as paid and you can also have them as personal uh, for personal use or commercial use as well. It's completely going to be up to you. And I will show you the steps needed for you to set this up. So basically with Behance, if you didn't know, is that you can actually go ahead and share your work. Uh, what Whatever type of work, you can just go ahead and showcase it with people and everything. But I'm just going to be focusing on the point of uh, selling assets. So if you didn't already have an, uh, an account with Behance, you will need to just go ahead and visit Behance.net. Click on sign up on the top right. It's going to be for free. Yeah, you can just sign up for free. Click on sign up and you will be able to just go ahead and create an account completely for free. So just go ahead and create an account and then follow these steps that I'm about to show you. I'm just going to exit out of this page. And this is going to be my account uh, or this is going to look like um, this is how it's actually going to look like when you actually create an account. This is going to be your profile. You will have your email, your name and so on. You will have Behance profile availability and so on. So the first thing that you need to know, uh, once you are in this page, after you sign up, you can start sharing your work by creating projects and you can just start from here. Uh, but the first thing that you absolutely need to do is you need to go to your profile picture on the top right. Uh, and then from here, you will need to obviously adjust your profile account, but not as important as this step is that you need to go to settings. Uh, and this is going to be a very crucial step. You will need to obviously verify your identity. Uh, but after you do that, you will need to go ahead and set up your PayPal or Stripe account to be able to receive money if you actually want to sell assets. So just go to the second step, which is connect to PayPal slash Stripe. Click on that and then you can just feel free to connect either PayPal or you can just connect Stripe both of which actually work uh, the same. So it's not really much different. If you prefer to use Stripe, then use Stripe. If you prefer to prefer to use PayPal, then just connect your PayPal. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this real quick and I will get back to you once I am done and we'll move to the next step. Okay, great. So once you finish up your connection with either PayPal or Stripe, it may take a little bit of time. Like you can see here, your PayPal account is being set up. Please check back shortly or retry connecting your account. It's just going to take a little bit of time, but regardless, you can just go ahead and move on to the next step, which is going to be adding your assets and so on. So ignore this. If it's in here, just go ahead and do your work. And by the time, hopefully it's going to be ready to go. Uh, but then you will need to move on to go ahead and share your work and you will need to create a project. So go ahead and create your project here. Uh, if you want to do whatever you want to do here, you can just simply feel free to do it. Uh, so you can just go ahead and add content for it. So for example, an image. I'm just going to be using this one for the time being. Uh, and we can just go ahead and add tags, you know, just create your project as you would. But then here you can see attach assets. So you can actually see sell your assets. Now you can attach downloadable files directly to any Behance project and earn money creating what you love. So basically, if there's anything in this project that you want to actually sell uh, and have them on here, uh, whether it's going to be a font, whether it's going to be photo uh, templates, whatever it may be, you can see here, um, you can add files like fonts, illustrations, photos, zips, templates, uh, and you can make it either free or paid to download. So for example, I have in this project this purple image, um, I also have something else like uh, this red one. And let's say people may actually would like to download them or buy them even. Uh, but in that, in that case, I can just actually go ahead and attach some assets. So go ahead and click on after you finish up your project, obviously, just click on continue uh, underneath the um, I mean, no, sorry, uh, we can just click on attach asset, not continue. Continue is related to the actual project. It's just my screen is too bright, so it shows uh, the doesn't really show the lines here. But regardless, you would want to click on attach assets. 
and then from here you would want to go ahead and choose files so this could be again like i said it could be uh, a font file uh, images and so on you can see the type of files that are supported from here jpeg png and so on uh, and that the max size should be 500 megabytes no more so go ahead and click on sorry about that click on choose file let's say you want to add the purple one it's just going to take a little bit of time and in here i can just go ahead and set up a few things so here we have uh the purple one is just not go going to show here so file name i can just go ahead and name it purple the category is going to be uh photos but if it's fonts you would want to make it fonts if it's illustrations it's going to be illustrations and so on and you have all of these categories to choose from so you have quite a lot to work with um after you choose the category for me it's photos the license type so this is going to be how people are going to be using it after they actually uh, get it. So whether it's going to be for free or after they purchase it, the license type either is going to be for personal use only or standard commercial uh, use. So we can just use it commercial, for example, because they're going to be buying it. And we can also add a description for this specific asset. This is a photo of the color... Um, Purple. I know that kind of doesn't really make sense, but we have it as a description. But just, you know, go ahead and make sure you detail uh, whatever you're selling as much as possible. So, you know, people who, uh, you know, actually are going to buy this know exactly what they're going uh, to buy. And uh, obviously it's going to be shown uh, from within the actual project itself. So we can just go to the next step, which is going to be price pricing info. So we can just go ahead and set this up. Um, so we can just make it, for example, $5 for the color purple. And you can see here the fee for PayPal uh, and the fee that Behance does get because, you know, Behance is actually a free platform. However, it does get a fee whenever you get a purchase. Uh, and this is how much you'll be getting after all the fees and stuff. So just go ahead and make sure that whatever you're getting, whatever you're getting is, well, you know exactly what you want uh, and once you're happy with this we are pretty much good to go and i believe here you can add example images for it uh please choose the images that are at least okay so you, you will need to choose an image that is um you know within these limits here so you know it's actually going to work and people can actually view it uh in there but i'm not really going to add any because i don't really have anything here yet in fact, you are actually required to have at least one image that it has this uh, specification. Hopefully this one works. I know it's not uh, proper because I'm selling, well, purple and this is red. But, you know, you get the idea. Just make sure you have an image for it to showcase it um, and it should be within those limits. And if you want to add more, you can simply do so from here. And we can just click on Add Asset. And then we can just go ahead and click on Done or add another one. And it's going to be obviously uh, prepared. So we can just click on done. And we should see now that we have one asset, which is purple. If you want to add more, you can always click on there. And you can just add another one. And you can just sell them like this. Each one is going to have, you know, its own unique price. Each one is going to have its own, you know, description, name, and so on. So you can edit them um, to your liking. So after your pretty much done with the assets here you are good to go you can just go ahead and publish your work your project and everything that you actually want to showcase uh, and the assets are going to be attached to it so whenever somebody actually you know likes what they're they're seeing and they want to actually buy it they can simply just go ahead and buy it from here with that being said i hope that you liked this video and found it to be helpful and thanks for watching